Nico Williams is one of the best talents in the world of football. He even helped Spain win the Euro, but his future is very uncertain. Is he going to join Barcelona or is he going to the Premier League this season? And in today's video, we're going to simulate his whole career in FC24 and we're going to figure out what type of a legend he is going to be by the end of it. But this challenge is going to be a little bit tricky. We do have this wheel that will decide where Nico Williams is going to land after every single season. For the first one, of course, Barcelona has the most chances of actually signing Nico Williams. If that's gonna happen, we're gonna find out. We're also gonna count how many goals Nico Williams is gonna score in that video and of course how many assists he's gonna produce. Also, we're gonna count the trophies that he's gonna win in each and every country, hopefully many Champions League trophies. And in the end, of course, we're gonna count how many Bowen doors, if any, Nico Williams is gonna win through his career. So if you enjoyed this type of videos leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel but now let's spin the wheel and find out where we're gonna start our journey let's see where are we gonna start our journey i really hope it's gonna be barcelona and it is actually going to be barcelona so so far everything looks perfect for nico williams and there he is nico williams is now a barcelona player they pay a lot of money for him but look at the squad that he is joining sadly his best friend lamin yamau is not in fc24 so he cannot be the right winger but nick williams currently is 82 overall he has 93 pace and 86 dribbling but before we starting simulate we're gonna change his position to left wing and hopefully this will boost his overall and as expected he grew to 83 overall and look at his stats man they're looking super promising for his overall we also hire a lot of development coaches and we change the tactical vision to wing play so we can boost even more more his performance and i think in this squad he do have a great chance of winning some uh, trophies although real madrid just signed kylian mbappe but let's see how this first season is gonna turn and what a first season for nico williams he grew to 87 overall now he has five star weak foot and 85 shooting this is incredible performance and check out his stats man he scored 34 goals and assisted 12 times and this makes him the top goal scorer in barcelona this season is he also top assistant he is wow what a performance he also won la liga in his first season what an intense battle between barcelona and real madrid they finished with equal points but barcelona has a better goal difference they scored 100 goals wow and this is trophy number one in his career sadly he couldn't manage to add the super cup to his collection the real madrid defeated barcelona 2-1 in the final also barcelona got knocked out in the second round of copa de españa from tenerife on penalties really come on barca you can do better than that and real madrid knocked us out in the quarterfinals of the champions league they eliminate us 4-2 on aggregate so in the first season he won in total only the La Liga but he grew to 87 overall for the second season the options are either to stay at Barcelona or to go somewhere else and I really really hope that he's gonna stay so let's see what the wheel is gonna decide for us come on be gentle to us be gentle to us we're building something special at Barca and he is gonna stay there at least for one more season let's go this was super important oh and Barcelona added Zaire Emery from Paris Saint-Germain and William Saliba and this will definitely help Nico Williams win some major trophies hopefully the Champions League by the end of this season this is gonna be a dream come true for him but now he's 88 overall and maybe by the end of this season he's gonna grow to 91 92 why not but of course before we see what's gonna happen we're gonna check who is gonna win the Ballon d'Or and Nico Williams was in fact nominated already in the first season at Barcelona but of course early Haaland won the Bowen door. It was expected, man. So now let's see how are we gonna end this second season. He grew to 90 overall. Now he is one of the world's best left wingers. And look at his stats, man. 97 pace and 89 shooting are remarkable. And what a second season again he had. He added 30 goals and assisted 
completed 16 times this season, which makes it in total 64 goals so far in only two seasons at Barcelona and 28 assists. This is a remarkable performance, but now let's see how he performed in each and every competition. Whoa, this time we finished fourth in La Liga. Real Betis finished above us. Like, what happened, man? Come on, we don't have one of the best players in the world. At least this time we managed to win the Super Cup of Spain. We defeated Athletic Bilbao 3-1 in the final. And this is trophy number two for Nico. Ooh, let's add another trophy. We defeated Real Madrid in the Copa de España we beat them 3-1 in the final so this season is already better than the previous although we finished fourth in La Liga and look where are we in the Champions League we're currently in the final and there we're gonna face Manchester City and this is a huge chance of Nico Williams to win his first ever Champions League trophy and the Manchester City squad is looking super scary man they do have the Bowen d'Or winner in early Hall. They added Di Lorenzo in the right back position. So let's see what is gonna happen. Come on, boys. We do have a great chance of winning that game. And we lost it on penalties. Nico Williams scored the only penalty for our team. Like, come on. How we couldn't manage to score in 120 minutes? And of course, Manchester City are gonna take now the Champions League. This is a very, very sad outcome of the second season. So now let's see what the wheel does have for us for the third one. I improved the chance of us going somewhere else by 40%. So let's see. And we are actually gonna change our club in the next season. I think we achieved so many great things at Barcelona. But now it's time for a new chapter of our journey. And here are some of the big teams. So let's see where are we going next. I really hope it's gonna be to the Premier League, man. He deserves a move there. Oh no, oh no, we're gonna join Real Madrid from the next season, oh this is definitely gonna piss a lot of Barcelona fans, and there he is, Nico Williams is now a Real Madrid player, so don't be mad at me Barca fans, this is what the wheel wanted, and this is how the Real Madrid squad is looking with Nico Williams in it, and now he is forced to play as a right winger, because of course they do have Vinny Jr. who is their proper left winger, they do have Mbappe who is 94 overall, but their defense is not looking that great man, they do have Rico Luis who is 78 overall, Rudiger is 86, but he is 32 years of age, and their Militao is very solid man, I'm, I cannot say anything bad about him he's 89 overall but their left back is Fran Garcia like what happened to Kamavinga he is not even in their squad and this is a huge miss for them so I'm not 100% sure if we actually join a better team than what we had before at that but only time will tell but I'm super excited to see how he's gonna perform at Real Madrid, man. I think he's gonna score a lot of goals and, of course, produce a lot of assists to Kylian Mbappe and to Vinny Jr. And sadly, Nico Williams was not nominated this time for Bowen Adore. And, of course, Erling Haaland won his back-to-back -back Bowen Adores right now. How are we gonna stop Manchester City, man? And his first season at Real Madrid is also not looking very promising. He grew only to 91. His stats didn't improve that much and also look at his stats man he scored only 10 goals and assisted only three times in 35 games this is a way way worse performance than this one in Barcelona of course here Kylian Mbappe scoring every single goal also what a performance from Vinny Jr but if Nico Williams want to establish his name he needs to start performing better at least he added another La Liga title to his resume Real Madrid won it with five points more than Barcelona and this is trophy number five already in three seasons he won the Super Cup and Real Madrid defeated Barcelona 3-2 in the final maybe at the end it was the right decision to join them and look at it this is trophy number three in this season they also won Copa España 2-1 in the final versus Atletico Madrid but now let's see how they perform in the Champions League they got knocked out by AC Milan in the round of 16 they lost 4 three on aggregate like come on and look who actually won the champions league roma and they defeated porto in the final 
What a weird year in the Champions League. I really hope that he's gonna stay in the fourth season, but let's see what's gonna happen. The easiest choice is for him to move to either the Premier League or go somewhere else, but at the end, he is gonna remain one more year at Real Madrid. And this is a great thing, man. I'm super happy that he's gonna compete next to Mbappe and Vinny Jr. for one more season, and hopefully this time he's gonna receive more playing time. Ooh, Real Madrid brought Joao Cancelo this season. And this is a huge boost for Nico Williams. Now he's gonna have behind him Joao Cancel, who is one of the best right backs in the world. But look at the stats of Nico Williams, man. He has now 98 pace and 89 shooting, already 5 star skill moves and 5 star weak foot. And he's only 24 years of age. Come on, my boy. I really hope that this season you're gonna perform much, much better than the previous at Real Madrid. And Nico Williams was nominated to win a Bauer and Door, but of course, his teammate Kylian Mbappe won his first ever Bowen d'Or, of course, at Real Madrid. But wow, I'm super surprised that Nico Williams was even nominated. And look at also the status of Nico Williams by the end of the fourth season. He submitted a transfer request and the reason for it is that he played only 28 games and he scored only 5 goals and assisted 5 times. I think it just feels right for him right now to move away from Real Madrid. But before that, let's just add another La Liga title. This is his third La Liga out of four seasons. Like, what a nice performance from him in Spain. Sadly, he couldn't manage to win the Super Cup of Spain. Atletico Madrid defeated Real Madrid 1-0 in the final. So no more trophies, at least for now. Also, no Copa de España this season. Eibar eliminated us in the quarterfinals of the Cup, man. 2-1. How can we lose to Eibar? But we're gonna receive another shot at the Champions League trophy. This time we're with Real Madrid, not like before that with Barcelona. And we're gonna face this time AC Milan and not Manchester City. And this can be a huge, huge one for us. Although their squad is not looking bad, man. They kept Theo Hernandez and Rafael Leao. They added Zerxi who joined Manchester United in the real world. Mike Magnani is still there. It's gonna be a nice battle, but let's see, man. I do have a good expectation from this game. And we lost a second Champions League final? Really? We got destroyed by AC Milan 3-1? How the hell that happened, man? We're at Real Madrid. Nico Williams' teammates are one of the best in the world. And he lost a second Champions League final? I really hope that in the fifth season, he's gonna join another club. And since Nico Williams posted a transfer request, I equal the chance of him to stay at Real Madrid or to move away from the club. So let's see what this time is gonna be. Come on, boys. He deserves a shot at a different uh, club and he will receive his shot at a different uh, club. I added Juventus and also AC Milan to the wheel, but I really, really hope that he's gonna move to the Premier League. So let's see what is gonna be this time. And he received his dream move to the Premier League. He will join Arsenal and I really, really hope that Bukayo Saka is still there. And wow, I'm super impressed by this Arsenal squad. They now do have Davin Nunes as a striker, they kept Bukayo Saka, they kept Odegaard and of course Kai Havertz, but they lost Declan Rice, now their CDM is Fofana, who is 84 overall 28 years of age, I really hope that he can be a great holding midfielder for our uh, team, they managed to bring Saliba back to the team, which is surprising, I thought that Barcelona signed him but they somehow got him uh, back they also do have Gabriel Steele who is 87 overall, and they added Alfonso Davis at the left back position, and he's gonna attack attack behind Nico Williams. This is a huge one for Nico. And their goalkeeper is Diogo Costa, who is now 89 overall. I think these boys can win everything this season. So let's see how are we going to perform in the fifth one. And in his first season in the Premier League, Nico Williams grew to 96 overall. I think he found his place. Look at his stats one more time. He scored over 20 goals this time, 25, and he assisted three times. But let's see if he also won some trophies. Oh, he didn't win the Premier League. Arsenal finished a second. They lost eight times, man. Andrew, ten times. Like, this is a, not a great season for Arsenal. They lost in the third round of the FA Cup to Rotherham? Like, come 
come on you are arsenal man reach at least the semi-finals or the final at least they won the carabao cup by defeating spurs 2-1 in the final and this is trophy number one for nick williams in the premier league of course they're gonna defeat spurs man this is spurs they're not gonna win any trophies and barcelona the former club of nick williams eliminated arsenal 3-2 on aggregate in the champions league quarter final so only one trophy in his first season we're half through the simulation and let's recap it right now so in five seasons nico williams scored 104 goals and assisted 39 times this is not a bad numbers in my opinion he also won eight trophies in his first five seasons in this simulation this is also not a bad sadly no champions league trophy yet and of course no bow and door but this will change in the future i really hope that we're gonna remain at arsenal for the sixth season man we did have a fantastic first season at arsenal so let's see what's gonna happen and we're gonna stay at the club let's go i'm super happy about this decision from the wheel and look who is returning to arsenal it's declan rice and now with his addition this team is looking ridiculous we should be the favorites to win the champions league like nico williams is of course the highest overall player he's 96 overall but everyone around him is just super good so let's see what's gonna happen in the sixth season and we're starting the sixth season with a premier league trophy added to our collection Action. we won it by only two points but this time we lost only three games much better performance from the previous season but we yeah, lost yeah, in the semi-finals yeah, of the yeah. fa cup on penalties versus a chelsea wow it could have been another trophy for nico williams but at least arsenal won the carabao cup and this another trophy for nico williams now in total he has and trophies and not only that nico williams is gonna play his third final in six years hopefully this is gonna be the lucky one arsenal are gonna face liverpool in the final and i do believe that they do have a great chance of winning it especially when their superstar is 97 overall look at his stats man they are ridiculous but look at his season stats he scored 44 goals and assisted 18 times come on arsenal win the champions league and nico williams is gonna win his first ever bowen door but versus this liverpool squad this should be an easy job for us their defense is looking horrendous what happened to virtue van dyke why is he now white and why is he looking like that like what happened to you virgil their midfield is also not the strongest their captain is berardi who should be right now 34 35 years of age no we should destroy a liverpool so let's see what is gonna happen come on boys come on boys there you go first champions league trophy for nico williams did he score in the final he didn't but i think the season stats are gonna be enough for him to win a bound door but before we check the bound door winner we need to see what the wheel has for us i really hope that he's gonna remain at arsenal and he will remain at arsenal at least for one more season let's go and by the look of it arsenal didn't sign any new player but do they need even a new player i don't think so so let's see who is the bowen door winner and i do believe it's gonna be our boy of course nico williams is nominated to win a bowen door and he finally won it we need six seasons for a nico williams to win his first ever bowen door but what a way to do it man he had so many ups and downs in his career but i think he's currently at the right place at arsenal and he's also performing as a bowen door winner right now he's 98 overall at the age of 27 and look at his stats by the end of the seventh season 34 goals and 15 assists man wow he turned into a superstar at arsenal and nick williams is also winning the premier league right now just for fun this is his second in his career and this one he earned super easily compared to the previous one also community shield trophy added to his collection like wow this seventh season is starting amazingly we won a third straight trophy this time the UEFA super cup we defeated roma 2-0 in the final is nico williams gonna win another bowen door but in the carabao cup we didn't perform that well and chelsea eliminated us in the quarterfinals and also in the fa cup final we got knocked out in the quarterfinals from spurs 2-1 how can spurs beat us man like come on we cannot allow that 
We also got knocked out from Inter in the round of 16 of the Champions League. And with that loss, I think our chance of winning the Bauern Door are super small currently. But now everything is in the hands of the wheel. And ooh, we remain one more year at Arsenal. This is our fourth season, I do believe, at Arsenal. But Nick Williams is super happy there. He won already a Bauern Door at Arsenal. Maybe he's gonna win another one. And look how motivated the Arsenal owners are. They signed Florian Virus to help Nick Williams win another another Champions League trophy and of course another Bauern door. Now this Arsenal team is stuck man. Almost everyone is close to 90 overall or above 90 overall. And although Arsenal got knocked out very early in the Champions League, Nico Williams is a nominate with Kylian Mbappe and Vinny Jr. But he won a second Bauern door in a row, man. Like, what a career so far we made for Nico Williams. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But now let's check what he did in the eighth season. His stats this season are worse from the previous two, but still 20 goals and 15 assists are amazing for his fourth season at Arsenal. And he won another Premier League title. This is his third Premier League in four years in England. And this time he won it very very comfortable with 11 points a lead to the second Manchester United also another community shield a title they destroyed Spurs man this is Spurs of course Arsenal are gonna destroy them oh but Nico Williams couldn't manage to add a third trophy this season Arsenal lost 5-4 on penalties the Carabao Cup final versus Manchester United and also they got knocked out from Manchester City in the FA Cup we couldn't manage to win so far a lot of FA Cups or Carabao Cups but Arsenal are again Again, in the final of the Champions League and this time they're gonna face Inter and this is a great chance of Nico Williams to win his second Champions League trophy and Inter squad is looking solid but I think ours is much much better than theirs so let's see what's gonna happen come on boys come on boys we do have the weapons and we want it let's go 2-0 we beat Inter in the final Saliba scored and Bukayo Saka so this is his second Champions League in his career the ninth season we increase the chance of Nico Williams to move away from Arsenal and he will move away from Arsenal I really hope that he's gonna stay there but the wheel wants something else and let's see what this something else is gonna be Oh, we're going to Paris Saint-Germain and I'm not very excited about that. They for sure don't have Kylian Mbappe anymore, but let's see how their squad is looking. But before that, look at the overall of Nico Williams. He's now 99 overall. I'm super happy that he reached the max overall in FC24. But I'm not 100% sure if 99 overall Nico Williams is gonna help this Paris Saint-Germain squad, man. Look at their defense. It's looking hard horrendous man like who the hell are these guys Frank Garcia I know but Vuskovic he's one of the best hidden gems but he's only 80 overall this Gilles he's 79 overall Arach 81 overall their midfield is also not the strongest they do have Bradley Barco who is now is gonna force to play right winger Vlahovic is their strike and he's 88 overall at the age of 31 and of course, Nico Williams needs to carry this team through the seasons. And Nico Williams was again nominated to win the Bowen Door, and he won it three straight times right now, man. Like, what a career he had at Arsenal. If he can at least reach that level at Paris Saint Germain, he's maybe gonna win another Bowen Door. It's gonna be difficult because Paris Saint Germain are in Europa League, but at least they won the trophy 2-0. They defeated Salzburg in the final, so this another trophy in the collection of Nico Williams. At least next season he's gonna have a Champions League with Paris Saint-Germain. They won League 1 not very comfortable to be honest with you but still man a trophy is a trophy Sala they couldn't complete the fake treble they lost in the semi-finals of Copa Nazionale on penalties versus Leo and Nico Williams also didn't have a great season man 19 goals and 9 assists in his first season at Paris Saint-Germain is not great but I really hope that the next one can be the best of his career and before heading to the last season of this video Nico Williams has 221 goals scored what a goal scoring machine he turned to be and also 96 assists through his nine seasons at Barcelona at Real Madrid and of course at Arsenal but look at the trophies man he already won 19 trophies in nine seasons this is a quite good career so far and when you add 
three Bowen doors on top of that, then his career is quite remarkable. And the winner of this season, Bowen's door, is Bukayo Saka, the former teammate of Nico Williams. Man, if he stayed at Arsenal, this could have been again Nico Williams. But at least in the French league, he's winning trophies for fun. Paris Saint Germain destroyed the league, man. They won it by 18 points. Also, they won the Super Cup of France by defeating Lille 4 0 in the final. And this is trophy number 21 in Nico Williams' career. They also won Copa Nazionale 3 2 in the final versus Warrior. So now Nico Williams has a chance to win the quadruple if they reach also the Champions League final. Oh, and they reached it and in the final they're gonna face Manchester United. This is gonna be a very very interesting battle. And maybe Nick Williams also has a chance to win another Bowen Door, man. He scored 27 goals this time and assisted 15 at times. In 53 games, this is a very solid performance. He's still 99 overall at the age of 30. What a player he became. Oh, and the Manchester United squad is looking very interesting. They do have Fofana in the defense and Gonzalo Inacio and our former teammate Miranda, of course. Let's see, boys. I do have a great expectation from this game. What's gonna happen? We destroyed them 3 0. And with that win, Nico Williams won his third Champions League trophy in 10 seasons. And he is gonna end this video with a quadripo. And also a fourth Bowen Door trophy, man. Wow. What a career we created for Nico Williams. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now I'm out and I wish you a great day. Bye bye.